This is the speaking test of the International English Language Testing System. The examiner is Michelle Lester. Good morning. Can you tell me your full name, please? Good morning. My full name is Misha Kohler. And what shall I call you? Please call me Misha. Where are you from, Misha? Um, I'm originally from Punjab in India, but now I live here in Vancouver, Canada. Very good. So, in the first part of the exam, I'd like to ask you some questions about yourself. Let's talk about your daily routines. What time do you usually get up? Um, it depends on which day of the week it is. Monday to Friday, I have to get up early to go to college, so say about 7.30. But at weekends, if I haven't got anything to do, I like to stay in bed until around 9. What do you like to eat for breakfast? Um, it's usually something light, like some toast or cereal. I prefer to wait until lunchtime to have a larger meal. What I really like to have as soon as I get up is a strong coffee. Would you say the morning is your favorite part of the day? Um, well, at weekends, I enjoy a slow, relaxing start to the day. And so, yes, I like the mornings on Saturdays and Sundays. But mornings during the week are a bit too busy, so I prefer the evenings. If you could change anything about your daily routine, what would it be? Mm, I wish I could be more organized in the morning. I'd like to do some keep fit exercises before breakfast. I have tried a few times, but I never seem to have enough time and haven't been able to make it a habit. Let's move on to talk about celebrations. Do you enjoy going to parties? To be honest, not as much as I used to. I enjoy family get-togethers as they're quite relaxed, but I'm not a fan of late-night parties with friends as I find them quite tiring. What do people like to celebrate in your country? Well, in my country, most people celebrate family events like birthdays, weddings, that kind of thing. Of course, there are also cultural and religious celebrations that people take part in. Oh, and there's always a huge celebration in places where a local football team has won a competition. What's your favorite celebration? Um, that's a tricky question. I love it when it's something the community enjoys, like a big cultural event. But if I think about it, the celebrations I remember most of all are the parties that I go to with my family. Would you say it's more fun celebrating with friends or relations? I have to say that the ones I like best are with my family. I enjoy getting together with my friends and we have a lovely time when we go out for a meal or have a party, but it's nice to be surrounded by my family members, especially uncles and aunts I haven't seen for a while. Now, moving on to the second part of the test, I'm going to give you a topic and I'd like you to talk about it for one or two minutes. Before you talk, you have one minute to think about what you are going to say. You can make some notes if you wish. Here is your topic. All right, remember you have one or two minutes for this, so don't worry if I stop you. I'll tell you when the time is up. Yes. Can you start speaking now, please? Okay, uh, well, uh, the shop I like visiting most is a small place in my town called Misty. It's a tiny independent store that sells things for the home. It hasn't been open for long, but it's become really popular.
everything in there is beautiful, whether you're looking for an item of furniture for the living room or an ornament or something nice for the garden. I would imagine the shop appeals more to women than men. Certainly when I go there, there are often more women inside looking around while their husbands or partners stand outside waiting for them to come back out. Uh, I think people who like to be surrounded by beautiful things enjoy going there. It's also a great place to go if you want to buy someone a present. If I had the chance, I would buy everything on sale. The thing I like most about the shop is that the things it sells are different to what you find in the chain stores. They are handmade and produced by local businesses and so you know you're buying something that nobody else has. Oh, it also sells a lot of things that have been recycled. For example, you'll often find an old cupboard or wardrobe that's been sanded down and painted in lovely patterns that make it look very bright and modern. Yes, that's definitely my favorite shop. We've been talking about the subject of shops and shopping. I'd like to discuss this subject with you with some more general questions relating to this topic. First, do you think people often buy things they don't really need? Um, well, I definitely have. It's very easy to fall in love with an item of clothing or a gadget of some kind and then change our mind when we get back home. I think for most people, they have lots of things in their homes that they've bought and never used or used ones and then forgotten about. What are the advantages of shopping on the high street rather than online? Mm, for me, the most important thing about the high street is that it's a pretty happening place where you can walk around, window shop and actually examine the thing you might want to buy. Oh, also, if it's a local street, you might bump into friends you haven't seen for a while, and that's always a good thing. How important is good customer service? Um, in my opinion, being treated well by shop assistants is really important. For example, I think it's nice to be left alone when you walk into a shop so that you can look around without feeling under pressure to buy. But if you have a question, it's always good to have someone who is knowledgeable to help you. Do you think shops should be required to close on certain days? Um, I know that in the past, in my country, shops used to be closed on Sundays. So on the one hand, that was a good thing because it gave everyone a day off to relax and spend time with their families or their loved ones. But on the other hand, days can be quite boring if the shops are closed and you don't have anywhere else to go. What are the benefits of going shopping with a friend? Well, uh, apart from having company, I think one advantage is that your friend can give you their opinion when you buy something. As I mentioned earlier about buying things that you don't need, perhaps you are less likely to do this if you have a friend or someone with you to make you think before you spend your money on something. In which ways do adverts persuade us to buy a particular product? Hmm. I think uh, they try to make us feel like our lives will be better or that we will be happier if we buy the product. For example, if we drink their brand of coffee, we will be surrounded by friends. Or if we buy this meal for our family, we will all sit around the table laughing and having fun. All right, that is the end of the speaking test. You have a great rest of your day. Thank you and wish you the same. Thank you.